Hey there, Danny Ackerman here, and I just wanted to make a quick video to show you how I do my eBay listing because I get asked a lot, do you use this software, that software? Nope, I go right to eBay's sell your item form, and I'm going to show you how I do that process and how my listing goes so quickly. Uh, so I don't use third-party software because there's so many changes going on that with the, as many people as I am teaching and coaching to sell on eBay, um, I want to keep everybody kind of starting from something free and basically you need to know how to list it this way because we never know when those other sites are going to go down and all that good stuff. So here it is. This is Selling Manager Pro. Now Selling Manager you can get uh, just for being an eBay seller you just go and subscribe um, and if you have a premium store better you can get the pro version for free so this is the pro version that I'm showing here it really has all your bells and whistles and shows you everything that's going on with your eBay business that you need to know alright so um, I always have scheduled listings and the reason I do scheduled listings is because I do my write-ups first and then I go take pictures some of you like to do your pictures first and then do the write-ups. Um, this is my preferred method because I find that as I'm writing things up, I may do a little research and then discover, oops, this one's probably not worth listing or I need to combine it with something to make it worthwhile to list and such. And that way I haven't spent time on pictures for something that I'm not going to list that way now. So we go over to scheduled listings. Now if you don't have any scheduled listings, which is understandable, you can do this by going to active listings and selecting any item and choosing the cell similar, the same thing. For me, I go to scheduled listings. Now the reason I do this is because it saves all of my template information in there. So I hit cell similar right over here and that's going to pull me up an exact duplicate of whatever listing it was that I just hit the cell similar on. Now it really helps if you are listing like items. If you have a whole grouping of, I did, and this came from doing a bunch of wine glasses, the specialty wine glasses. So it was kazoom, kazoom, kazoom. Um, so that is not what I'm listing right now. Right now I am listing a bronze eagle statue, completely changing. So we have to come in here and change this. Now I know that I'm going to put this in art and sculptures and carvings. Now if you're not quite sure what uh, you're going to be listing something in, you can just pull up another tab and start typing in the item that you're going to be listing. So I have a bronze eagle sculpture and it's going to tell you pretty much right there where are most people listing that item which is art from dealers and sellers right where I put it. Then these are your store categories. Now these are going to be specific to whatever you've created for your eBay store. If you don't have a store, you won't put anything here or you may not even have those. Um, for me, I have an art sculptures and then I also have animals, birds that this would fit in. And you get two, it's free to do two, so pick two that work because different people shop different ways. I don't worry about this inventory part there. Now we just can go right over this and we can write a brand new title. So I am going to put bronze, and you can see I've played with this before, Eagle Sculpture, signed J. Mitchell. Mitchell, there we go. All right go down here I have this one picture that just stays here until I get new pictures put in in and then we're gonna put in the item specifics item specifics are really super duper important and I'm gonna show you just a second here after you fill in the ones that eBay gives you how to do this now as far as date of creation and region of origin if you don't know, just put in unknown. Now, if it is one of those categories where there isn't much here and you need to create some, you just click on add your own item specific. Um, for instance, let's say if I wanted to put animal type, then I could put eagle and save. Always whatever it is, that's kind of the, the question, if you will, and then the answer right below it, okay? Go down here, you can see my templates already there. Now what I do here is I take the title, 
copy paste that and I come down here that is my first bullet point to start with. Type that in there. Now I'll take this sign J Mitchell give it its own bullet and we'll take this out and then we want to put the measurements. So I know this is uh, six inches tall by seven inches long by three and a quarter inches wide. So I just change that information here. Six inches tall by seven inches long by three and a quarter inches wide. Excellent condition. Really big point on condition. I'm going to go back up here real quick. Condition. If it's excellent, just put excellent condition. If it has something minor, minor scratch on back of head, whatever that is, but really important, what I always tell my potential buyers, see photos. Whenever you've pointed out some issue with it, tell them. Give them that call to action to go see the photos. They then know what they're looking for. Um, and then, of course, make sure you have a photo that shows that issue. All right? This is where you sell the sizzle. Oh, and we I definitely want to put the same thing here. So again, I like to copy and paste. Whatever you put there, make sure it's down here again, reiterating that. So this is where you sell the sizzle. So this beautiful, I right, see, I don't know how old this guy is. I truly don't. I believe he's older. This beautiful eagle sculpture will stand watch over your home. Oh, I can't think of what I would put at home. He's the perfect addition to your decor or collection. There we go. This is my own little code. This is a code that tells me how much I paid for the item and in, in the month and the year it was listed. That way when I get a best offer, if I have this on in fixed price, if I get a best offer, then I'm going to be able to come in here and go, ah, okay, I know I ha how much I have into this and how long it's been listed and I can make a decision on if I want to counter that or accept it. All of this is all standard that stays there. Make a decision on if you want to go auction or fixed price. Once you make this decision, you can't revise it. So this is something you have to know from the start, how you want to list an item. Um, let's just say I'm going to put him at, mm, I'm going to put him at, why not? He's awesome. And then we got to select a price that we would automatically, well, you don't need to. You do not need to do this. I like to do this. Because this way, if I get an offer in the middle of the night that's an acceptable offer, like is a no-brainer, like there's no question that you would take that offer, put it in there. Let it automatically accept so you can wake up to dollars. All right, so we've got that. I do not do automatic decline. I don't like to send that message to my buyers because I don't know how far off the mark they were. What if they offered $495 and it automatically declined them? I'm not going to lose that sale over five bucks, right? Okay. Then I do good till canceled and we do schedule start time. This is where you schedule. So I make sure I'm scheduled out as far as I can go. Gives about three weeks if I need to go back in and tweak or something happens, I don't get to it right away. Come down here. This is all pre-filled. On all of my fixed price listings, I do free shipping no matter how big, small, heavy, light, free shipping on everything. Of course, if it is going to be over 13 ounces, we need to go either priority or a parcel. I'm going to send him priority. He's a good enough price point that I want them to get it fast. Okay, That's the reason I do the priority mail express as well. You have to choose a one business day method if you want to be able to have it have the get it fast logo. Okay, We come down here to international and this is where it gets important. It's over four pounds, I know that, so I have to take this and make it priority and remove that second priority, okay? I always add the International Express in there. You never know when somebody's going to want something super duper fast, okay? Dimensions, you only need to change that if it is something that is oversized, and oversized is over 12 
cubic inches. So if any of these sides are over 12 inches um, and you're not quite sure if it fits you know, in that 12 by 12 by 12 span, then you're going to want to put the actual dimensions of the box. Okay. I also put the actual shipping weight or as close to it as I can guesstimate. So this actual this piece actually weighs 3 pounds 10 ounces. I'm going to round that up to 5 pounds to allow for the boxing because um, I'm going to put it in a fairly heavy box to protect it and that's how I do that. Now if it was say um, a 3 pound item I'd probably put in like 4 pounds 8 ounces. I want to get as close as possible for my international customers who do pay that shipping based on the weight. Hit continue and there's the listing all ready to go. You can just double check things, double check your fees. You'll notice when you schedule there's a 10 cent fee. I don't worry about that. If I go in, I add the pictures, I revise it and launch it, I never pay that fee. You only pay that when it actually goes and gets listed on eBay. Or, like I always say, if 10 cents of profit is going to make or break the item, we probably need to be looking at your profit margins, okay? Just saying. All right, and that's what we do. We submit listing. And now what you can do, if you're listing like items, hopefully, you can just sit here and hit sell similar, pull that up again. You've got a lot of the same information to go with, and just keep those listings rolling, rolling, rolling. And, and then when you go over to your selling manager, this is now in scheduled listings. We'll see it come up. It should be at the very bottom, the way I have it done. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Or maybe not. Where'd it go? <laughs> it's not showing up in there. Oh, there he is. Bronze Eagle Sculpture, signed J. Mitchell. Voila, it's there. And that is all there is to listing and the dining app method. Thanks, guys. Talk soon.